In this video, we will walk through the installation and configuration of the Pi Integrator for Esri ArcGIS. Previous versions of the Pi Integrator came in two components, the web application server and the data relay. Beginning with version 2017, the installation only requires a single self-hosted application server. This unified application is used to define layers and services to send your Pi and AF data in a consumable format for Esri ArcGIS. Before beginning the installation, the first thing I want to do is to confirm that this machine I will be installing the Pi Integrator on is running a supported operating system. You can see that I am on Windows Server 2012 R2, and this meets the requirements for the Pi Integrator. Additional system requirements can be found in the user documentation. You may recall that, in previous versions of the Pi Integrator, additional prerequisites such as the web server IIS role were required. Beginning with version 2017, the Pi Integrator will no longer require the IIS role and will be installed as a self-hosting web application. One final requirement is that I have an available SQL Server for the application server to install its backend configuration database. The SQL Server should be version 2012 or later. I already have my SQL Server installed, and I will look now at the SQL Server Management Studio. I've installed the version of SQL Express. I will also be running the installation under my user account WSUN. This domain account will be using Windows Authentication to connect to SQL. This user account also needs DB Creator and Security Admin privileges. These permissions are only needed during the installation phase and can be removed from the installing user afterwards. During the installation of the SQL Configuration Database, the Pi Integrator will automatically create a new login specific to the application server with the correct permissions. Let's get started with the installation. I have downloaded the install kit from the OSIsoft Tech Support website, and the account I have logged in as is my own user account, which belongs to the local administrators group. The first step is to extract the contents of the installer. You can accept the default in the temp directory, or you can choose a specific location. Here's the welcome installer page. We can see that some prerequisites have already been installed, such as .NET Framework. The integrator will install some additional Pi prerequisites, such as the network subsystem and the buffer subsystem. The integrator will also require an AF client to be installed. Here, the Pi prerequisites are being installed. Now we are on the AF client installation. We can hit next and choose to accept the defaults. And here we can install the default options for AF client. Now we are ready to install the Pi Integrator application server. The first thing that it asks for is the destination folder. You can accept the default, or if you have separate drives for software installs, you can select the directory here. On the next page, choose where the SQL Server hosting the configuration database will be. My SQL Server Express is installed locally, so I will accept this configuration string. I will also accept the default name for the configuration database, which is PyGeoPortal. I will also be using Windows Integrated Authentication to connect to SQL and create this database. So we'll hit Validate and confirm that we can connect to the SQL Server successfully. 
Next, we can supply a service account to run the application service. I want to use a custom service account, as that is the recommended procedure. Make sure that the service account has the appropriate read permissions on your PI and AF system. This account should have access to the AF database, as well as elements within that database. On the PI data archive, the account needs read access to point security and data security for those AF attributes we are interested in getting data from. Let's hit validate. On the next page, we need to supply an HTTP and HTTPS port for the application server to listen to. You can accept the defaults of 80 and 443, but if you have other web applications installed on the same machine, you may want to supply alternate ports so that there isn't a conflict. The next thing we need to do is select the appropriate SSL certificate for the self-hosted application server. You can choose to create a self-signed certificate if you do not have a custom certificate verified by a certificate authority. In this case, I want to select an existing self-signed certificate. Finally, we have the option to create Windows firewall exceptions for the ports we have selected earlier, which the Pi integrator will listen to. It is recommended to create this exception if you are using the Windows firewall. Now we are ready to install. Once the process is complete, we have finished installing the Pi integrator for Esri ArcGIS. Note that if you are upgrading the Pi integrator from a previous version or using a SQL database from a previous install, you must run the provided migration utility to update your ArcGIS GeoVent inputs. Please see the user guide for full details. We can select to launch the integrator immediately after leaving the installer. There is an additional window to indicate that Pi Subsystem services are correctly running. We can dismiss this window to finish the install. I will now log into the Pi Integrator application server. The home page of the Pi Integrator is the services page. Here, you can create and configure the services and layers to connect Pi system data to ArcGIS. You'll notice that I have been granted access into the application server as my user account. This is because during the installation, specific local Windows groups were created, and the installing user is automatically added to those groups. To view and manage those groups, I can use Server Manager. Let's open Server Manager here. We'll go to Tools, Computer Management, in Computer Management, let's go to Local Users and Groups and hit the Groups folder. Here you can see that Pi Geo Admins and Pi Geo Users were created. If we open the Pi Geo Admins group, we can see my user account was automatically added by the installation. This is what allowed me to log into the application server successfully. In this version, the Pi Geo Admins and Pi Geo Users groups are functionally identical. Windows users and groups can be added to either group in order to access the Pi Integrator. Back in the Application Server, let's go to Administration Systems page. Here you can configure endpoints for Pi Vision, Portal for ArcGIS, and ArcGIS Geo Event Server. Having a Pi Vision endpoint is optional as it allows you to integrate your Pi Vision displays within your ArcGIS client or as a link to the display directly. In this case, I want to add my Pi Vision server. We want to give it a name and description. For the endpoint, I'll specify the URL for Pi Vision. and we'll hit Add. Next, if you are using ArcGIS Enterprise with a portal for ArcGIS, you should add the endpoint. Again, I'll give it a name and description.
and for the endpoint, I'll enter in the URL for portal. And we'll hit add again. Finally, we need to specify the ArcGIS GeoEvent server before we can configure the Pi integrator to send real-time data through the GeoEvent server to ArcGIS. Let's hit the Add ArcGIS GeoEvent Server button. We'll give it a name and description. For the endpoint, this is the URL and port of the GeoEvent server, not including any subdirectories. and we'll hit Add. This completes the installation and configuration of the Pi integrator for Esri ArcGIS. In the next few videos, we'll show you how to configure Pi integrator services in layers to send our Pi and AF system data to ArcGIS.